Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? Good morning. I hope you guys are up and awake. I'm gonna talk for a little bit today. I'm not gonna say too much. Um, if you have a problem that people are campaigning for a better country, then there's something wrong with you. Either you're getting paid to dispute what we're doing or you're mentally not okay. How can you be okay with children drinking contaminated water, water with mercury? How is that okay with you? How are you okay with the lack of hospitals and the lack of hospital beds and the whole infrastructure? Like, like how are you okay with children learning on the floor, on rocks? How are you okay with that? Would you let your children learn on the floor in the dirt with rocks, no tables, no chairs? Would you be okay with your children living like that? So why should it be okay for other children to live like that? Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Why should it be a political agenda? Because we want better for our nation and for ourselves. I'm lucky. I get things for free because I promote it on my social media, okay? There's so many girls who want to work. Not everybody want to do prostitution. Not everybody want to fuck to get some bucks, okay? But some people have no choice because even teachers are getting paid 400 Ghana cities, 700 Ghana cities, 250 Ghana cities a month. Minimum wage in Ghana is $1.90. That's not minimum wage, that's slavery. People are working hard for nothing. So if you have a problem with us asking these questions and wanting answers and wanting a revolution, then you're sick in the head or you're getting paid. This is not a political agenda. There is human rights. We deserve to have basic needs a running government should be having. A running nation should be having. We're only asking for things that are in a manifesto. We said we we're gonna stop borrowing. We're still borrowing, we're in debt, we owe China. Ah, uh, Bree's calling me. I'm on live, say hi. <laughs> hi live. I'm gonna call you back when I'm done. <laughs> okay. Huh? I said okay. Okay, babe, bye. Sorry guys, anyway, I only talk about things that I care about, okay? I only talk about things I care about. And sadly, our livelihood is political, is politics. Our way of life is, is politics. Yes, we can. I can try and create jobs, I can try and help a community, but I, I have to save my money for myself too, okay? Like, I also wanna buy land and build property. You get what I'm saying? So the money that I'm making, I can't be using it all. I have an NGO. And that's my money going inside, not the government. Nobody's helping me. But what is like, how much can I really do? The people of this country need better. Like, it's not fair that kids are drinking um, this contaminated water, getting poor education. Um, it's not fair that we have to beg for basic things. Why are we begging for basic things? Look at our roads. Look at how many accidents are being caused because of our roads. Kwame Nkrumah and Mutoweno. Since Kwame Nkrumah and Obiya and Yusu Najin saw Obeyo Kwame Ye. Eh? Obiya ni Sanya and Sanana. And they will say a power show. Why we have to beg for basic things, bro? I'm not into politics. I don't know nothing about no numbers and no figures. But I'm into what's right and what's wrong. And a lot of wrong shit is going on in this country. Look at this gal I'm saying that's going on. Illegal mining. Some of them don't even have permits. It's crazy. If our government cares so much, why the hell haven't they kicked them out? Are they also getting a cut? Do they have something to do with the gal I'm saying that's going on? So, you know. Just fix the country, join the movement, okay? Hashtag fix the country, go on Twitter. Talk about what you face as a, as, as a citizen in this country. Talk about not getting a job to do, okay? 
people are doing fraud and, and prostitution because Charlie, they want to live a good life too. Because a normal job in this country is not gonna pay. Ah, wait a Why wow, can't I look nice? Can't I look good? My politicians are driving are driving big cars. They are flying uh, jets. They are on vacations looking good. They have Rolexes, their shoes, their cars. Why well, I me mean, too? So I can't get some. Eh uh eh, -uh. wait a Charlie, this is whack. Fuck the government. They ain't doing shit. They don't care about us. You guys need to speak how you feel, and that's it. I care about people. I don't give a fuck about politics. I care about people. And that is why I'm doing this. I always talk about this shit. I always complain on my Twitter, and I talk about what I see. If it's NPP, NDC, I don't give a fuck. They're both liars. They both ain't doing shit for the country. So, yeah. Is she only language in Ghana? No. But I don't know all the languages in Ghana. Um, so I'm not trying to like be disrespectful, but I'm angry and I'm upset and I'm angry for my people. When I first came to Ghana, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like, and I was like, damn, if I give them 100 cities or 50 cities, what are, what are they going to do tomorrow? We need to create jobs for these people. We need to, first of all, take them to um, a lot of mental reevaluation. Like, the country needs to be mentally evaluated, okay? The country only moves like its leaders. Those who are leading this country, we follow what they do. The country is corrupt because our leaders are corrupt. So, um... Yes, we have to fix ourselves mentally, okay? We need to change our ways of thinking, you understand? So I understand the whole fix yourself thing. If our leaders were thinking thoroughly with a clear head and they gave a fuck about you people, they would not allow Gallum State to happen. They would not allow children to be living in the conditions they live in in the northern region, the eastern region, all the regions, you know? Our leaders don't care about us and we need to understand that. Just because they come into town and they give you a bag of oil and rice during elections does not mean they care about you. They start to fix roads for a few months or a few weeks or a year and then they stop. What's that all about? If leaders cared about us, when NDC creates or oh, they start to fix roads and in the next terms NPP is in power, NPP will continue what NDC was doing. Why? Because it's the betterment for the nation. So it's better for all of us. If NDC decides to uh, decides to build schools and then the next election they don't win as NPP, NPP should finish the schools that NDC started so it can help the nation. This is not about I did this or I did this. It's we did this for Ghana. You guys need to understand the leaders cared about us. We would not be in the situations that we are in now. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's not a political agenda or attack. It's human rights. We deserve to be cared about. The way our leaders care about their children, their wives, and their kids, they should also care about us like that. Do unto us as you want to be done unto you. A country so religious, so bent down on the Bible, but they act like demons. We believe in God and we believe in Jesus and do what Christ would do. Would you think Christ would let us drink dirty water? Huh? No. Christ would not. Christ would make sure that we had pure water, clean water. Water that can cleanse our soul and nourish our minds and cleanse our skins. These water is given us rashes. The water is given us rashes. The water is causing our stomachs to hurt. Okay? You need to be tired of the living conditions in this country. You need to be tired. Not, oh, oh, no, 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 no more of that shit. You need to tell these leaders that enough is enough and that's it. Stand up against bad leadership. This is what Fix the Country is about. Stand up against bad leadership, corrupt, corrupt people, individuals. Anyway, I'm going to go off live now. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys and just tell you guys that I give a fuck, I care. Just because I like to show off my body because I look good does not mean that I don't care. You guys, there's no correlation. 
Me being naked and going to the beach does not mean that I cannot care about the country and talk about the country. We have supermodels in America who give a fuck about America and Black Lives Matter and they talk about it. They take their, their clothes off. They're supermodels. They're doing advertisements. I'm a supermodel. You might not want to be. <laughs> I have a bikini line. I love wearing bikinis. I mean, you guys cannot correlate me being naked to talking about political things or, you know, human rights. So get that out of your mind.